Hi everybody, Lawson Madlener here from designingmusicnow.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at Spitfire's new brass library, Spitfire Symphonic Brass. This was previously um, Spitfire's BML Brass, where BML is the British Modular Library, but Spitfire has taken each brass module and put it into one single contact player library, um, the Symphonic Brass. It's a fantastic library, I've already used it on multiple projects. Um, I very big fan of it and just Spitfire products in general but I'm gonna try to be just unbiased and tell you exactly how, what I think the pros the cons everything so I'm just gonna pull up some of my favorite patches and just talk about it talk a little about the library I hope you guys find this video useful um, and have a great day so not sure why I said have a great day but we are loading up a horn solo patch right now it's taking a while to load, so I'm going to actually try loading a different patch because I've been having a bug with that. Okay. Horn I2. Ah, there we go. That's the speeds I was expecting. Okay, so we have our horns A2 patch. So this is two horns playing unison. Um, you can see the interface is the same as like Albion 1 and their newer stuff like Spitfire Chamber Strings. It's pretty easy to use. You have your mic mix, right? Close, far, articulations, dynamics speed of the legato, variation of expression, stuff like that. Um, but I like going into here um, and just so I can fully adjust my mic positions exactly how I like them. Um, something you might notice is that it actually has dynamic purging and unpurging of mics, which is really handy. All right, so let me just play through a couple things. If you've seen our other Spitfire videos, I believe we've talked about the full interface. Um, basically, you just have dynamic speed, release, tightness, variation, expression. The variation controls things like the double tongues and triple tongues. Expression is just CC11 extra dynamics. I believe on this it's saying it's CC111. Interesting. Um, speed legato transitions and then just purged unused samples, sync to tempo, etc. Alrighty, so this is the two horns legato. And just tree mics. We pull up the close mics. Ambient. Oh, and there's a couple bits of popping because um, it's still trying to load in the other mic. Sorry about that. We have a nice mix. Try. Let's just um, wait for that to finish. I'll go over to a different patch. All right, let's see how this goes. So staccatos. Very nice sound. Um, let me just do. I just mostly just use the tree for default because it's great sound. Very punchy. I like it. All right. Uh, ooh, these are ooh. These are multi tongue. These are quite nice. So we have variation, which can be c controlled by CC 108, but of course you can change that to whatever you like. Um, and so you have double, triple, and quadruple tongued. And then you, if, if you play hard, um, high velocity, it has a long release. And if you play softly, it has a short one. Oh, my bad. Oops, hit the wrong thing. The multi tongues on all the patches actually in this library are fantastic. My only complaint is that they seem to only be at forte. Um, I believe so. If you control the dynamics on them. You hear that it's played at forte, it's just turning the, the volume down. 
um, which isn't a bad thing necessarily because most double tongue, multi tongue things are loud things. But I do wish that it was a little softer and had a couple more round robins. You can hear it's the exact same, which, like I said, isn't isn't necessarily bad for its context, but for little passages where you'd want it. It, it works pretty well. Um, that's just me nitpicking. Um, okay, this is long stopped, which is beautiful. Ooh, looks like I got to load it properly. Oh, never mind, because we just have one tree. Never mind. All right. Um, we have trills. Marcato. Okay, um, let's go to our horns a6 because this patch sounds fantastic this this has to be one of my favorite patches in the whole library i think all right C minor today. Uh, the multi tones of this is. Especially if you break down to two. We have some falls and rips, which are pretty handy. Chorus staccatos. Twenty-four horns at once. Let's try um, our soul trumpet. This is very, very, very nice. And then you actually can crossfade vibrato as well as dynamic layers. So let me just here. So without. That's very nice. Okay. Ah, and we've come across a famous contact bug. This is happens sometimes. Yay. All right. <laughs> it's a beautiful tone. I really like this old trumpet. Of course, you have your consorts. Tenuto. Staccatos. Uh, see, this is where something like round robin on the multi tongue might be nice. Definitely one of the better sounding solo trumpets I've heard. 
Okay, let's go. Um, I'm just going kind of just random. Here, let's go to the advanced folder. All right, so in the advanced folder, you have extended techniques. So you have your core and decorative te technique patches. So core is stuff like this. Decorative is all the effects. So let's actually go into tenon trombones or bass trombone solo. So this is core techniques. So you can see long um, curve. I hope I pronounced that right. I never can remember how to pronounce that. Um, Mercato, see basic basic things, and then you go to decorative, and it's going to be more of effects and stuff. Flutter, rips, falls. So that's that's a bit handy. So let's actually hear how it sounds. Very nice sound. Uh, the air Lindhurst sound, you either love it or you hate it, or you just like it. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm a liker. I'm not a, by itself, it's fantastic because you get that air sound and it, it blends so well with other air instruments and it just sounds fantastic. But if you're, if you want a little closer sound, it can be harder um, to blend it with other things. Of course, you see, you have close mics, um, but you can still hear a little bit of that reverb in the back and then it gets too close and then you want to try mixing things is cool. I like this. Oh, like I was going to say, sometimes air is a little too in your face for me. Um, so that's, that's the only time when it when it becomes slightly issue. It usually blends pretty well if you just add, I use uh, Valhalla verb, uh, Valhalla room verb, which blends th things very nicely. Um, let me see. Trumpet solo, trumpet A6, tuba solo. Let's try a tuba solo. Or let's, let's go into, okay, so that was extended, extended technique. So individual articulations is like it sounds, all the individual articulations, which for me is very, very handy because um, my template is built um, individual articulations per track, which ironically enough, I did not do for symphonic brass. And I actually did use key switching for that. I have two patches. I have a legato patch and I have my basic core patch. Um, and I did that because I'm running out of RAM, <laughs> but if I had more RAM, I would, I would do all of the, all of the, um, articulations. So let's see. So, um, I, there's some instruments that don't have legato, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, but it, it, it works. Okay. So I'm going to go to two or so the instruments that don't have legato are ones that you probably wouldn't have doing a big solo -y legato spotlight, such as a solo bass trombone. Um, but it's nice to have anyway. So that that's probably the, one of the main downfalls for me is that the articulations aren't quite consistent. Um, let's see, solo to a legato. <laughs> nice mellow tone um let's check out i'm okay so we did look at other patches is just time machine patches velocity controlled economic basically they have patches so the time machine is controlled by your doll tempo so you time machine so it, it um changes the length of the notes a little bit to fit fit um your tempo which is 
handy, but I don't because I like preserving the raw air sound. Because every time you stretch or do something to it, there's a sound. It does. It tricks the, the reverb a little bit, and it just sounds a bit off to my ear. Some people get it sounding nicely, but I, I personally don't like it. Light resources, which I probably should use as I'm running out of RAM. Um, economic, basically that same thing. Uh, velocity controlled is, you know, I don't think I've ever opened this patch before. Oh, uh, let's see. Switch. Oh, I know what this is. You play different speeds or different velocities for um, each type of articulation, which actually is pretty handy. <laughs> harder you play, um, the shorter of a note you get. Sorry for the clicks and pops, it hasn't finished loading. I've noticed um, that sometimes with, um, it actually has been Spitfire libraries in general, um, symphonic brass and chamber strings actually, and actually there's symphonic strings, which we're doing a review of soon. Um, the loading will change like on initial load sometimes it'll be fast and then sometimes it will go slow and I'm not exactly sure what causes that um, it probably just a bug on my end but I have noticed that interesting all right um, let's go we haven't done much trombones um, Trombones A6. This will be a pretty crazy sound. Some bossy A2. I don't have a full size keyboard, so I have to click these low notes. trombone solo. It's like this is a patch that I would really like to have legato on because solo trombone is beautiful, but we don't. Um, but you can you can fake it pretty well. Let's try something with legato. Let's go with tenor trombones, two tenor trombones with legato. And I don't think I've shown you the speed, um, so I'll do that now. So you can hear 
Let's bring the speed all the way down. There's a bit of a lag between the notes. Just you hear the whole transition. Bring it up. And then you can actually dynamically shape that in real time um, with CC116. Um, you can also, 16, my bad. Uh, but you can also just change it to whatever, whatever you'd like. Um, so let me say, I want to change it to CC19. Just made it. So now if I'm playing something, now this is going to be tricky because I either can do dynamics or speed and then one hand playing. So I'll just do speed. So it's going to be not dynamic, but you can you can shape your phrases. So that is a really, really handy feature um, that I don't utilize enough, actually. <laughs> but it's, it's very nice. Um, all right, I think I've gone through most of this. Like I said, I'm just trying to find my favorite patches because it would take about an hour to go through this whole thing. And it's already about, what, 18 minutes? So I think we are pretty good with this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Oh, man, I want to play all of this. This whole library is very nice. I'm. Sometimes people say, hey, you know, you're making it all too positive. But like I said, I genuinely enjoy these libraries. Um, and I don't have much negative to say about them at all because I actually like them. Um, but I hope you guys have found this useful just to hear the sound, just to check it out. No pros and cons. Pros is pretty much everything. I, I would use this for lots of things. Now, the interesting thing is how this compares to Berlin Brass, um, which we'll be doing a video on that relatively soon as well. Um, it it holds up very nicely. They're they're both a spoiler. They're both great libraries, and they both work well on their own things. Um, the 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 con with this library though is you can't you you do have solo a two a six right, but you don't have legato for all of that like I've mentioned, and then you can't fully build your own section with individual horns, which I write I try to write full like four part harmonies and stuff in the horn three part harmonies and the trumpets so having to double up on the is a bit annoying um but other than that this great sounding library it I really like it um and yeah that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this little overview um and have a great evening thanks for watching